Let me try. Youth is a happy time and a carefree time. A time of auto rides and double dates. Sometimes, in these troubled days, the very thoughtlessness of use has led to a living nightmare. Addiction to drugs, too often acquired with tragic carelessness, may take control of a life and force actions not dreamed of before. To these addicts, life's only work is to find money for drugs. In their desperation, no means is too foul. Their only goal in life is to keep the deadening chemicals forever in their heart's blood. It started with marijuana cigarettes. Come on, it's my turn next. Gee, Duke, where'd you get them? I, uh, I know a guy. Three for a buck. Let me try. Gee. I feel awful funny. Me too. I feel kind of sick. Come on, Marty, pass it on. Marty got kind of sick, too, but he wouldn't let on. He was determined to be one of the gang if it killed him. And it almost did. Several weeks later, after smoking reefers, Marty's befogged brain hit on a clever way to open pop bottles. Later, Stan went to the hospital for swallowing broken glass. Marty badly cut the inside of his mouth, though he didn't even know it at the time. Marty worked at any job he could find. But the jobs didn't last long. Often he had to turn to petty thieving and shoplifting to get the money he so desperately needed. Before long, he became fairly well known to the police. Mrs. Demelon, do you have anything to say? Judge! He's a good boy. I understand. Demelon, I believe you acquired the drug habit through ignorance. If you knew then what you know now, you probably never would have touched that first marijuana cigarette. I'm going to sentence you to one year in the municipal jail. However, I'll suspend sentence if you're willing to be committed to a hospital for the treatment of drug addicts and stay there until medically discharged. Yes, sir. All right, so ordered. Next case. Every person must take some of the responsibility for preventing the growth of drug addiction. Only by avoiding these drugs completely can he be sure that he will remain forever safe from a vicious habit which enslaves not only one's body, but the soul as well.